Workspaces. Workspaces control the way the elements of the user interface are displayed. They are typically organized by function or by workflow. By default, AutoCAD puts you in the drafting and annotation workspace. That can be seen here, right next to the quick access toolbar. You can also find your workspace down here by the status bar. Select this, and we can see we are in the drafting and annotation workspace. Let's look at what happens when we select 3D Basics. You can see the ribbon changes and provides you with new tools. Let's look at 3D Modeling. These include many more tools for modeling in 3D. So if you want to work in 3D, you can explore the 3D basics and the 3D modeling. The AutoCAD Classic. This provides more of a toolbar look and feel. For now, let's just go back to drafting and annotation. Close this panel if it pops up for you. And now let's say we're working in the drafting and annotation but we typically use the modify panel a lot. Let's go ahead and drag that out. And let's say this is where we want to keep it. So every time we open up AutoCAD, we would like our workspace to look just like this. Now in order to do that, we look in our workspaces and we select save current as. We can go ahead and give this a name. I'll call it ABC and select save. Now let's go back to our workspaces again and select drafting and annotation. As you can see, we go back to the default that AutoCAD has with the modify panel within the ribbon. Now let's go back to the one that we made, ABC. And there we go, our modify panel is right here. So if you want to customize the way your workspace looks, that's how you do it. Let's go ahead and look at workspace settings move this to the side a bit. As you can see with this you can move down and move up the names of the workspaces. You can go ahead and set the My Workspace and you can also add a separator so this will provide a line separating many workspaces for instance. Let's go ahead and hit OK and notice our separators between the 3D basics and the 3D modeling. Come back to the workspaces and you can see now we have a separator line. Setting up the workspace for the way you want it to be is very useful.